One feature that's available in Pathpilot is the ability to rotate your coordinate system around the z-axis. This is handy in case you have any misalignment between the edge of a part or a fixture and the x or y axes of your machine. In order to apply our rotation, I'm first going to type out our command and then we'll go over what each section is doing. So the first section of our command is g10l2 and that's saying we're actually going to apply some change to our coordinate system. Our p-value is telling us which work coordinate we're going to apply that change to and then the final part is the actual change of the work coordinate in this case r45 or our rotation of 45 degrees. In this case I've specified a p-value of 0 which is going to use the currently active work coordinate which we can see in our screen here is g54 at the moment. However, if we want to specify a certain work coordinate, we can do that by changing our P0 value to anything between P1 and P500 to specify each individual work coordinate. P1 would correspond to G54 explicitly. P2 would be G55 and so on and so on until you get up to P500, which would be G54.1 P500. With our command entered, if I hit our enter button, that will apply our command. And you can see in our G-code display that our coordinate system has been rotated by 45 degrees. So now if I type in a command telling us to go to G0x2, let's say, you can see that according to our G-code display, we're moving in a straight line. However, because we have the rotation applied, we're actually physically moving both our X and Y axes. One thing to note though is that moving with a jog shuttle or keyboard isn't affected by a rotation being applied. So if I hold my right arrow key, you'll see that our cursor is moving directly to the right. However, our X and Y axes are changing according to the rotation. So then in order to disable a rotation, we have to enter our G10 command again and specify a rotation of zero degrees. If you're ever not sure if a coordinate rotation is applied, one visual cue we have is that when a rotation is applied, you can see that our X and Y DROs are highlighted in italics. Uh, if I disable that rotation, you can see that the italics are no longer applied.